Our world, Terka Lumeres. No one knows how far its lands and oceans stretch. For the people are no match against the hordes of monsters that crawl the earth. Barriers protect the cities in which we live, and we are completely dependent upon them for our survival. These barriers are generated by the Blastia. Blastia use the primeval power of air that fills the world to provide us with fire, water, and light. They provide us with everything that has made the Empire prosper. Forget the threat of the vicious monsters lying in wait, just beyond the barriers. The blessings of the Blastia will bestow ever more prosperity to the world and peace to its people. I don't get it. What could have happened to the barrier in this town? From the Imperial capital, Zophius, bedrock of peace, we pray, may tranquility bless this world. This is not good! What's with all the yelling, Ted? Look! The Aqua Blasty is broken again! And they just finished fixing it! What's the big deal? Just leave it to the mighty Imperial Knights. That's what they're there for. Huh, the Knights? You know they never come to the lower quarter. What about the heroic Flynn? I already tried to get Flynn. They wouldn't even let me see him! Oh, so I'm Flynn's replacement, huh? Never mind that! Come on! We're short on people! Ted! Ted! You get down here! They need your help, too! Oh, I'll be there in a sec! Yuri, come on already! That's weird. He always comes running whenever there's trouble. This place is going to become an aquarium soon if this keeps up.
First, the trouble with the knights yesterday. Now the Aquablastia breaks. Why does stuff like this happen every day in the lower quarter? I know, I know. There's no use whining about it. Responsible. He's the one who pushed the people to get the money together for the repairs. And now he's the one who's all wet. It's not Hanks' fault that mage did a two-bit repair job, though. That's true. He even parted with his wife's keepsake to help raise the money. Hey, Yuri! If you're not gonna help out, stand clear! This is dangerous! Hanks, did you see the Blastia core anywhere? You know, that shiny piece in the center? Huh? Is it gone? Yeah, the Blastia won't work with the core missing. That aristocrat who came to do the repairs was the last person to touch the Blastia, right? That's right, a Mr. Mordial. And he lives in the Royal Quarter? Yeah, so? Forget about that, Yuri. Give us a hand here. Sorry, Hanks. I just remembered an errand I've got to run. Hey, wait just a minute! You're not seriously thinking of going to Mr. Morio's place, are you? The Royal Quarter? Me? I wouldn't be caught dead going to a place like that. It gives me the creeps. Damn it, Yuri! Just because you can do a few tricks with that bony blast you, you think you're invincible. Here's hoping he doesn't do anything crazy. He always seems to cause problems when the lower quarter's involved. Even the Knights have started keeping an eye on well, it's just an average day for Yuri. I'm sure it'll be fine. serious events going on in the world? Over here, right here, I'm the Wonder Reporter. 
bringing you the articles about what matters most every day. Do you read the newspaper in the morning? Cup of coffee? Donut? What? You don't? That just won't do. What epic thing has transpired today? You'll never believe it. You can read it whenever, wherever, and with no effort at all. Yes, it's the Wonder Log. Put it to good use. And by the way, let's let the fact that I'm in the wall be our little secret, okay? Well then, farewell. Huh? Hey, you hear about the Blastia in the lower quarter? Yes, I heard something about it breaking and them collecting money to fix it. That's right. I hear that lot went so far as to sell their treasures to save up the money. Treasures, sir? <laughs> Worthless junk. Nothing more. They wouldn't have gotten more than one gold for them. Not even one gold? I can't imagine what sort of treasures those would have to be. I'd like to have a look myself. I'm telling you, nothing but junk. <laughs> Listen to those guys. Poor Hanks. Can't really argue with them about the junk thing, though. What the? Who's there? If you can't understand the value of junk, you're worth less than junk yourself. Repeat, can you find the trail? So they've been taking Blastia cores from here, too. Looks like somebody's got some sticky fingers. That's the Royal Quarter for you. A few Blastia cores go missing, and no one even makes a fuss. When just one is enough to throw the lower quarter into chaos. If they got cores to spare, they could stand to give us some. Found it! Looks like the nobles are living the sweet life as usual. The lower quarter is right there. They still don't give a damn. It's not their loss, so what do they care? They should act, you know, noble. Not just dress nice and hide in their mansions. So this is where he lives. Doesn't seem like there's anyone around. I wonder if there's any other way in. Is it open? Can I get in this way? I know Mordio is hiding here somewhere. That must be... Found him. You were Mordio, right? Good boy. What the? The Blastia core is gone. 
Let's go and get that core back. And give that mage a whooping while we're at it. <laughs> Yuri! So it is you who are the cause of all this commotion! I know he's poor, but breaking into an aristocrat's house? My, my, how the mighty have fallen! Just what I needed. Tweedle A and Tweedle B. Just I what say, is a Tweedle anyway? There's no hope of escape! We've got you surrounded! Does it look like I'm trying to escape? See, it's stuff like that that keeps you guys from getting promoted. You did not just say that! I say, you take that back! Enough beating around the bush, I guess. You should thank me. I'm giving you some extra practice. Come on, guys. You can do better than that, can't you? Looks like I won't be catching up with that carriage anytime soon. How typical of the Schwan Brigade. They can't even manage to capture a single lowlife. Captain Kumor? I say, our apologies for this unsightly display. I'm afraid the Imperial Knights have no use for you lowborn scum. Uh, please, don't let Sir Schwan know about this, sir. I can't believe our taxes go to paying these guys. There he is. I say, that tops it all. Abandoned by his faithful pooch. <laughs> well, well, you've had a busy day, haven't you, Mr. Yuri Lowell? I'm rather busy myself, but I suppose I can afford to play with you for a while. Gentlemen! It's rats like you that make Flynn's job so difficult. Flynn, a little suffering is just what that upstart lieutenant needs. When you've finished with him, throw him in the prison as usual. Ten days or so ought to teach him a lesson. So like I was saying, the thief made off with a priceless treasure from that noble's mansion. I know, I know. Then he was caught and the loot was returned, right? No. See, that's just nobility trying to keep things quiet. The treasure in the mansion right now is a fake. You're pulling my leg. Hey, you didn't hear it from me, Bob. The Dark Wings are going nuts looking for the hideout. You mean the Thieves' Guild? <clears throat> that's enough out of you. Almost mealtime. Hey, neighbor, you're awake, right? You gotta be getting tired from keeping so quiet. You think that little story up all by yourself, old man? You must have plenty of time on your hands. Old man? Now you've gone and hurt this old man's feelings. Besides, I didn't make up nothing. I've got eyes and ears the world over digging up information for me. <laughs> sure you do, old man. Hey, I am what I am. Go ahead and ask me something. I'll tell you whatever you want to know. Want to know about the Pirate Guild's sunken treasure? How about the sorcerer who makes his home at the ends of the earth? Or wait, I've got it. I just want to know how to get out of here. Well, I'm not sure what you're in for, but they'll let you out if you keep your trap shut for ten days. The lower quarter will be underwater by then. The lower quarter? Ah, yeah, I heard about that. I wonder how they're all doing right now. 
Sorry, neighbor. That's one piece of dirt I don't have. And what am I gonna do about that damn Mordio? The Mordio? You mean to say you've got connections to the famed mage from Ospio, the City of Scholars? Well, do you know about him? Oh, wanna know, huh? I'm afraid that information won't come cheap. The famed mage from Ospio, the City of Scholars, right? I think I got it. Well, wait, that's not it. He's the, uh, the head of the Gourmet Guild. No, wait, it's the, uh, I mean... Out. Oh well, just when things were getting good. Hurry up. What is Commandant Alexei doing here? Whoa! Just who are you anyway? And what does the head of the knights want with you? Beneath the statue of the goddess. What are you doing? I said hurry up. All right, easy. I'm coming. I did say I was looking for a way out of here. Would you look at that? It opened. Ever vigilant as usual. With the way he's sleeping, it'll be a while before anyone notices I'm gone. If I come back before morning, I'll never be wiser to my little jailbreak. I think I can check on the lower quarter and make it back by morning. It'd probably be good to try that statue of the goddess, too. Back again. Man, I was just in here last month for fighting some knights collecting taxes. I guess I get free meals out of it, if you can call it food. Damn, Cumor has made this way more complicated than it needed to be. Guess we can do this. Yeah, easy win. I feel power running all through my body. Why don't we just go back? I can't go back now! This is for your own good, miss. You know that. As for the incident, we assume full responsibility and will inform the lieutenant ourselves. How can you say that when you haven't done anything to help me? Please, don't come any closer. Now, now, why don't you put that down? You'll only end up hurting yourself. I know how to use a sword! I'm afraid you leave us no choice. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. Hey! There she is! This way! Please! You've got to let me go! I have to warn Flynn! Did she say Flynn? Hey! Flynn! You came to help me? Who, who are you? 
Identify yourself. Man, just when I thought I was being sneaky, things have to go to hell. Careful, I think he's gonna blast you. It shouldn't be a problem if we take him together. Man, is this what knights do now? Don't they teach these guys manners in night school anymore? Yeah! Hey! Are you trying to kill me? Well, you don't belong in the castle, right? No, and I'll take it as a compliment that you can tell that by looking at me. Yuri Lol! Where are you? You foul fugitive! I say, we know you're trying to make your escape! Oh, please, not them again. I guess there's no point in going back to the prison cell now. Louder, fools! Say it like you mean it! Lieutenant LeBlanc, your voice is too loud. My ears... Yuri Lowell? You're one of Flynn's friends, aren't you? Yeah. Why? And you used to belong to the Imperial Knights. Just for three short months. You hear that from Flynn? Yes. Huh. <laughs> Guess he managed to find someone at the castle he could talk to after all. Yuri, I need to talk to Flynn. Hold on just a second. Who are you supposed to be, anyway? I can tell you know Flynn, but why are you being chased by the Knights? Over here! Listen, I want to hear the whole story, but we can't really afford to stand around and chat. First things first, let's get to Flynn's place. Want me to lead the way? Uh, yes. Let's go. Mmm, something smells tasty. Oh, you're right. What could it be? Oh yeah, isn't the night's dining hall around here? Let's get this over with. Yeah, easy win! Oh man. All right, all right. How could this? That was easy. I feel power running all through my body. Guess we can do this. Yeah, easy win. Guess we can do this. How could this? Yeah, easy win. Yeah, it was around here. This is Flint's room. He's really keeping this place cleaned up. And Flynn must be off gallivanting around somewhere. Then that means I'm too late. So, what sort of wickedness did you do anyway? Me? I haven't done anything wrong. And yet a bunch of knights were chasing you around the castle. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, you see, Yuri... Whoa, what is it? I can't be specific, but Flynn is in terrible danger. I've got to go and warn him. So go if you want to go. What's wrong with that? I wish I knew. Listen, I've got something I've got to take care of right away, too. As soon as things quiet down outside, I want to get back to the lower quarter. 
In that case, would you take me with you, please? Other than Flynn, there's no one I can depend on. Will you at least help me get out of the castle? Please. I'm begging you. <sighs> okay, I can see you're serious, but why don't you tell me your name first? Prepare to fall victim to my blade! Haven't you ever heard of knocking? I am Saki, the man who will end your life! Now die, Flynn Shifo! You got the wrong guy! Die! You really should listen a little more. My name is Saki. Remember it well, Flynn. Listen, I'm not Flynn! <laughs> oh, what's wrong? What the hell is wrong with you? I'm gonna kill you and carve your name into my blood. Yeah, that's pretty disgusting. Oh, yeah. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> Feel what? I'm not feeling anything over here. Yes, so full of confidence. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Now I feel truly alive. What's with him all of a sudden? <laughs> Yuri, let me help you. Stay away. But bring it. The more, the merrier. If things get out of hand. Run for it. I will. Oh, don't give up so soon. I haven't had a fight like this in years. <laughs> this is fun! Relax. He's just doing that to mess up our fighting. You relax. Trust me, he's not thinking that hard. So, that's just who he is? The more you talk, the faster you die, Flynn. Damn it, I am not... Never mind, you're not listening anyway. But if it's just a misunderstanding, maybe we can talk. <laughs> Your fate was sealed the moment we met. You seriously think we can talk to him? Let's just take him out already. <sighs> you're strong. <laughs> oh, that hurts. <laughs> like Flynn to you? Not in the least. I feel power running all through my body. Oh, I feel so powerful! You've got the wrong guy. Aren't you supposed to know this stuff? He's not Flynn! Details, details. Bring it! This guy's nuts. Flynn sure has made some interesting enemies. Soggy, we're leaving. The knights are on to us. How dare you! <laughs> Mind your own business! I'm just getting to the best part! Hurry, before the knights get here! Or would you rather have your fun end today? We should be getting a move on, too. We'll just go pay a visit to the goddess and be on our way. Yuri! Um... Yeah, I know. We'll stick together until we're out of the castle. 
Oh, right. But I was going to say, my name is Estelise. Well then, Estelise, let's get moving. Wait, we can't just leave the door like that. I really don't think this is the time to worry about something like that. But... All right, all right, just, just give me a minute. There, good as new. Now let's get going. Uh, okay. Let's get this over with. Ha -ha! That was easy. I wonder if this is because of those guys earlier. They better not try to pin this on me too. I hope no one was hurt. Don't worry about the knights. They'll make sure to protect themselves. Yes, I guess so. You're it all! Where are you hiding? That must be LeBlanc. I'd recognize those dulcet tones anywhere. Do the two of you know each other? We have a bit of a history. Come on, let's hurry. We should do something about your clothes. You stick out like a sore thumb. My room is just up ahead. I have a change of clothes there. Okay, that'll work. This is my room. I'll go get changed. Just give me a minute. Got it. Try to be quick about it. Just in case. It's not like I was going to peek. Flynn did tell me to be careful if I ever met you. Well, thanks, Flynn. There, all finished. What? Do, do I look strange? It's nothing. I was just thinking this doesn't suit you either. Really? What's this? A handshake. It means nice to meet you. All right, let's get going. Thanks. Thank you. 
Yuri, you were a knight once, right? Didn't you already say you heard about me from Flynn? Well, it's just... You don't seem to know your way around the castle well. <gasps> Are you an imposter? That's some imagination you've got. Why would I want to impersonate a regular guy from the lower quarter? I... I guess you're right. Come on, let's go before we're caught by the castle guards. Man, could you be any weaker? How don't get... It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you've lived a lot longer, right? Not exactly. Oh, I feel so powerful! beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. Don't get sloppy! That was easy. I just wanted to check on the lower quarter and come back. I didn't expect the extra baggage. Baggage? I could take it to the castle's lost and found for you. You're the one person I couldn't really ask to take care of it. Huh? Never mind. I'm good. Okay. Let me know if you change your mind. Guess she's the textbook little naive noble. But why were those knights chasing her? This must be it. Is there something special about this statue? It's supposed to have some sort of secret. It doesn't look like there's anything particularly secretive about it. 
Maybe if we moved it, there'd be a hidden passage or something. You don't think... Well, we won't know unless we give it a try. <sighs> it really worked! What do we have here? Looks like the old man was right. Do you think this will lead outside? I can't guarantee it. Well, I'm going down. How about you? Uh, I'm coming too. That's pretty brave of you. Who was that guy anyway? There was something shady about him. What is it? Did you change your mind? No, your hand. It's injured. Let me take a look at it. Hmm? Ah! Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I'd never seen a blasty like that. I... That's really all it was? That's really all it was. M my hand feels better. Thanks. No, it's the least I could do. Okay, let's go. So, there are monsters down here, too. Monsters? That's what these things are? You've never seen one before? Uh, um... Well, let's hurry up and take care of this, shall we? Yuri, they're coming from the front, too. Ah, uh, this is annoying. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! Azure! Yeah! Easy win! I feel power running all through my body. Oh, I feel so powerful! That should take care of it. I didn't know what to do when they all attacked at once. You generally have to defeat each monster one by one, but sometimes they come in groups. Really? We should be careful when we go ahead. You can take on a monster one at a time, or take them on in a group. Your choice. Yuri, which way do you think we should go? Whichever. Let's just get out of here. Uh, wait! Wait for me! Are there many people outside the castle like that man Zoggy we met earlier? Nah, he's one of a kind. It's pretty hard to find anyone that nuts. I see. Well, that's a relief. I don't know what I'd do if everyone behaved like that. Yeah, life would be pretty rough if the world were full of guys like him. Man, could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky! <laughs> Next. Angel Ring. Be a yeah, I beat you into next week. Next week? But can you really? Never mind. Oh, I feel so powerful. Have you and Flynn known each other a long time? Um, two, maybe three years, something like that. Huh. So he's been getting along all right at the castle? Flynn is a very hard-working and honest knight. It seems like everyone trusts him. The other day, he told me that they've been giving him more responsibility lately, too. Hard-working and honest. Right, in other words, hard-headed and obsessive. Huh? Yeah! Easy win! I feel power running all through my body. Sorry if I hurt you! Azure Cavalry! That was easy.
I need to thank whoever told you about this underground passage. Why would you need to be thankful for something like that? I'm trying to get out of the castle just like you. That's all well and good, but there's no need to be all thankful because of it. Oh no, we must show courtesy to those who show us kindness. Sort of weird to be polite to somebody you've never met, don't you think? Manners are never so important as when dealing with those with whom we've yet to be acquainted. You really think so, huh? I know so. Man, it's bright. <sighs> it's already morning. I wasted an entire night. Looks like it led to the royal quarter. Everything looks so different from the windows of the castle. Ah, oh, come on. You sound like this is your first time out of the castle. Uh, well, I... I guess a lady who lives in a castle can't just take a walk outside whenever she wants. Yes, you're right. Well, hey, at least we made it out of the castle. <laughs> um, was that not right? No, it's fine. So, Esteles, what are you going to do now that you're out? I'm going to find Flynn. Do you know where he went? The other day, he said he was going off on a night's pilgrimage. Oh, that thing. Going around the cities of the Empire, piling up good deeds? Yes, that's why I'm going to the City of Blossoms, Halor. Halor is the first place that knights traditionally visit on a pilgrimage. So you'll need to go outside the barrier. Have you ever been beyond the barrier? A little while back. I'd like to go, but I can't just leave the lower quarter like it is. Come on, I'll show you the way out of town. It's on the way to the lower quarter. Thank you. Standing, arrest him! What should we do? First, you pick up one of these, then go like this. Ooh! Ow! Let's get to the lower quarter. I got an invitation to the castle and had the most marvelous time there. Of all the... then who's the young lady? Pleased to meet you. I'm Estelise. The pleasure is all mine, miss. Uh, more importantly, uh, about those Imperial Knights. They've been so busy looking for you, they haven't paid any attention to our fiasco down here. So you've really managed to tick them off, huh? It looks that way. Has Repeat come back yet? Sure did. He was carrying some bag. What happened to it? We should be up in your room. Go pick it up later. Give it a shake. It has a nice jingle to it. Mordio liked it too. You met Mr. Mordio? Yeah, but the rat left town. Apparently he's someone important from a city called Ospio. Left town? Well, then that means we've been hoodwinked. Afraid so. His house was empty, and I doubt he's even a real noble. I see. Looks like the Aquablasty has finally stopped leaking water. Well, without a core, it won't budge. Is there enough water for the time being? Yeah, but it won't last long. After that, we'll just get it from the river. Get the runs, though. 
And the knights aren't gonna help. Guess I'll go get it back from the thief myself. What? You aren't thinking of following Morty over beyond the barrier, are ya? Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. <laughs> Who's worried? It's a good opportunity for ya. No need for you to hurry back here. Huh? What do you mean by that? What I mean is, we can get along just fine without you. Even Flynn used to say, I wonder how long Yuri plans on living this life. Flynn needs to learn to mind his own business. Yuri Lowell, you've given my two lackeys a headache. Now be a good boy. And turn yourself in! Well, that's our cue. Looks like I won't be coming back here for a while. Never a dull moment with Yuri around. After this, I'll be even with you for getting that money back. <laughs> and just make sure you don't kick the bucket blowing it all on some crazy party. Ha! <laughs> Same to you. See that you don't go dying in any ditches. Wait for me! It was nice to meet you, sir. Eh, you'll probably be quite a pain in the neck. You make sure and take care of yourself now. I will. Thank you. When are you gonna fix the fountain, Sir Knight? Hey, cool! A knight! Hooray! Hooray! Uh, won't you help this old man find his dentures? Fools! You're in my way! Do not interfere in the affairs of the Empire! Don't you make her cry! What are you talking about? Hey, 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 quit pushing! Hey, who just hit me? I'm gonna remember that! This might come in handy if you're going to Halur. Huh. A map? Wait a sec, this only has the roads written on it. What did you expect? It's better than nothing considering people don't normally leave the city. You'll have to fill in the empty spaces on your own. First off, you should head for Dayton Hold to the north. you so much honestly they're probably thrilled to finally get rid of me hey hold it who put money in here I can't take this halt get out of my way I guess I'll have to keep it for now what Nice one, Rapide. A dog? Well, for now, it's north to Dayton Hold. What? Oh, right. I'm not sure how long we'll be together. Here's to the road ahead, Estelle. Yes, I... Huh? Estelle? 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 To the road ahead, Yuri. Well, so long for now. We hope to be back soon! Yuri, the food you cooked was so delicious! It might even be better than the chefs in the castle! <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, you know. Yuri, how about you become a cook in the castle? I'll write you a recommendation. Or, or. You really know how to compliment a guy, Estelle. You would have to do something with your hair, though. The kitchen staff is very strict. Just how serious are you?
looks easy. Don't get careless. Resound, oh cry of victory! All right. Finish them off. Huh? I feel power running all through my body. Oh, I feel so powerful! A map, equipment, and even money. Your friends are so generous, Yuri. <sighs> they can't afford this. They can barely get by as it is. Well, I'm sure they're worried about you and want you to have a safe journey. <laughs> it's more likely they're just glad to be rid of a troublemaking kid. That's not true. Guess I can't come back empty-handed now that they've given us all this stuff. Now I gotta bring back the Aquablastia, no matter what. She's been mumbling to herself for a while now. Mm -hmm. Hey, you coming? We don't have all day here. Estelle? Estelle? Looks like she's in her own little world. Hey, Estelle! Oh, right! Sorry! I'm coming! Do they not have nicknames where she's from? followed you here? I wonder. Well, let's do our best not to stand out. Okay, and I want to catch up with Flynn as soon as I can. All right, let's see if we can just pass through the hold.
Where's she off to now? Welcome. I've got some nice gear in stock today. This blade was forged by none other than Assam the Blade Master. It even comes equipped with weapon skills. No traveler should be without them. Feel free to give it a try. Huh? What do you mean? The special techniques contained in weapons. These techniques were originally passed down from master to pupil. But the Blade Master Assam used a special process to seal them within the weapons themselves. Bodhi Blastia can acquire techniques from weapons imbued with this power. With continued use, weapon arts can eventually be learned by the person using the weapon. My, this young lady knows her stuff. That about sums it up. I read in a book that the Kritya gave this knowledge to humans long ago. Huh. I thought Bodhi Blastia only let you use strike and magic arts. In order to find the fighting style that meets your needs, it's best to think carefully about weapon skills when choosing your weapon. There are even weapons without weapon skills that focus instead on raw attack power. It all depends on your preference. If weapons you equip have weapon skills sealed inside them, those weapon skills will be stored inside your Bodhi Blastia when you equip the weapons. If you have a weapon equipped, you can use the weapon skills sealed inside whenever you want. However, if you unequip that weapon, you'll have to set the weapon skills to be able to use them. Each weapon skill belongs to one of four different categories. When you set a few different skills in a weapon, depending on what category they are, a particular glyph will appear on the core of your Bodhi Blastia. So, if you had a bunch of weapon skills for attacking, you'd see a glyph called Fleck. That glyph lets you know the strength of your physical attacks has gone up. Try all of the combinations you can think of to see what they do. I'm afraid the sun would set long before I could explain them all to you. Did you get all that? You learn fast. You should be able to read all about it in that young lady's book. I can't imagine business is all that great in a place like this. Don't get me wrong. I'm not here because I want to be. There are monsters on the far side of the hold, so I'm stuck. Monsters, huh? Did you hear that? Hmm. And she's not listening. Huh? Did you say something? I said I'm gonna go get some information, so you wait right there. Oh, I'll come too. That's all right. Go ahead and take it. It's pretty old and it has some pages missing. But it's yours if you like. Thank you very much. Is that book any good? It's fascinating. You can read it as soon as I finish. Hey, hold on. Hello? Um, I beg your pardon, but what are you looking at? Humanity at work. A tenacious attachment to this life. Huh? Why? Why must humans live the lives they do? They fight for a share of monopolized technology and hurt even those closest to them. Hmm? Are you talking about Blastia? I can't speak for anyone else, but it doesn't seem to me like there's any reason why we get dumped into the world. But once you're here, you just do what you can to give this life everything you've got. Perhaps there is truth in what you say. Hey! He's gone. What was that all about? Got me. They say the heat can make people go a little crazy. Is it hot?
monsters will fall back if we stop the main charge. Remember your training! Okay, they're all in! Close it up! Hold the gate! There's still more! We just left the capital and things are already getting crazy. That's it. I'm cursed. I know it. <gasps> the gate! What the hell? Cut it out! Estelle, you wait over... Whatever you say. P please, I can't get up. Ow! The monsters! The monsters! Everything's gonna be okay. Hey, I can... I can stand! Go in the hold! Hurry! How can I ever thank you? Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm not sure what I would have done if you hadn't cured me. Thanks. I'm just thankful that everyone's safe. Whoa. All worn out, huh? It really is dangerous beyond the barriers with so many ferocious monsters around. This place could definitely use a barrier against a pack that big. Couldn't they install a barrier, Blastia, here? No. Barriers are a precious resource. You're right. And with the current technology, we can't make any more. If only we could recover the secrets of the ancient Garayo civilization. They created the Blastia. Even if that were to happen, I can't see the Empire using the knowledge for the common good. You two there! I'd like to have a word with you. So why don't you let us through? I'll beat those monsters to a pulp with these fists of mine! How many times do I have to say it? These monsters are tougher than you think! You dare to doubt the power of the monster hunters? Stop! Stay out of this! You knights cheated us out of a job back there, and now we're gonna work off some steam! Hey, hold it! It's always the same with these guild idiots. Great, we'll never get through as long as this keeps up. But Flynn is headed to Halor, and we're so close. Well, getting caught by the knights wouldn't be too fun. Let's find another way through. We made quite a scene, didn't we? I was so worried once those knights noticed us. I told you we couldn't stand out. You were the one who just jumped. I can't just look away when monsters are attacking someone right in front of me, right? <laughs> What's so funny? I'm sorry. That sounded just like the way Flynn described you, that's all. He often said that you could never turn a blind eye when someone near you was suffering. Well, next time you see him, you tell him that I said he's the same way. <laughs> I'll do that.
You there. How about coming to work for me? You'll be paid, of course. Watch your manners around the president. Well, what do you say? So it's not bad manners to try and buy someone without even introducing yourself? Watch your mouth! You're just as charming as I expected. I'm Kaufman of the Merchants Guild Fortunes Market. We handle everything from trade to distribution. Guilds, huh? You see, I'm in quite a tight spot, and it's all thanks to these tremors. I'd rather not know, but was that the work of a monster? Yes, the Lord of the Plains. Lord of the Plains? He's the leader of that pack of monsters. The leader? Man, there's some amazing things out there. Do you know if there's another way we can cross the plains? We're in a hurry. Huh. <sighs> I'm afraid you'll just have to wait for the Lord of the Plains to leave. Huh. I guess there's no point getting worked up over it. But I can't afford to just sit and wait. I'm gonna get a second opinion. Um. You're with a guild that does product distribution, but you don't know any other routes? I could hire you and just charge through once the leader moves on, but uh, you don't seem interested. If it's bodyguards you want, why not hire the knights? Are you forgetting that we guild members have thrown away our rights as Imperial citizens? Once you leave the Empire behind, you can't expect them to help you a whole lot. So naturally, the Imperial Knights would never deign to escort the likes of us. Wow, you really stick to your principles. Without that level of determination, one could never hope to run a guild. Well, maybe you could use your determination to do something about that Lord of the Plains. Go to the Koi Woods that lie to the west of here. If you pass through the forest, you'll come out on the far side of the plains. But the fact that you guys aren't going that way must mean we have some surprise to look forward to. I like a boy with quick wits, but I like one that doesn't waste a potential investment even better. Thanks. I owe you one. Maybe I'll talk to you about that job if we meet again. Estelle. I... I'm not waiting around for the monsters to leave or anything. I'm just resting a little. Oh, I see. Well then, I guess I'll just have to take the other way around by myself. What? H how did you... Hey, wait for me! That woman who gave us directions, she said she was in a guild, right? That was Miss Kaufman of Fortune's Market. Man... <laughs> Giving up their rights as Imperial citizens and just living free. Yuri, are you interested in the guilds? Interested? Nah, I just never had much contact with them. Back in the capital, there weren't any gritty guild types who'd refuse the Knights' protection. We may meet lots of people in guilds before we're done with our trip. I hope they're a little less aggressive than that woman was. Next week? Next week? But can you really? Never mind.
A forest in a place like this can only mean... the Quoi Woods? Bingo. You're just full of information, aren't you? I read in a book once that a curse will fall upon anyone who enters the woods. Ah, so that must be the surprise. Not going in? It's fine by me, but what about Flynn? I know. Okay, let's go. You look very good swinging a sword, Yuri. You're not bad yourself, Estelle. Really? My swordmaster used to scold me terribly. Well, I have to admit I'd be surprised if you look too natural. I really don't like fighting. I don't like hurting people. How ladylike of you. But if I don't fight, I'll end up hurt myself, right? Yeah, that's pretty much how it works. I wish I could enjoy fighting like you do, Yuri. You think I enjoy this? Don't you? I mean, the way your eyes shine, that only happens when you're fighting. Oh, oh really? Wow, you're pretty observant. Yes, I like watching people. something my feet feel cold all of a sudden oh no is this the curse what sort of curse is it supposed to be anyway the voices of corpses buried beneath the trees creep up and lure us to our doom oh brother what's that What's it doing in a place like this? Let's take a break. I I'm alright. Huh? What's this? <gasps> Estelle! Damn, that's bitter. You all right? Oh, my head feels a little... I'll be fine. What happened to me? You just fell over all of a sudden. Don't you remember? Perhaps it was the air that made me dizzy. Air. That's sort of like the fuel that powers the Blastia, right? I heard that even though we can't see it, it's scattered through the atmosphere. Yes, that's air. I read once that dense air can have negative effects on people. Hmm. <laughs> Maybe that's what started the rumor of the curse. Hey, you only just woke up. You should rest a bit more. But I can't! If we don't catch up with Flynn soon... What if you collapse again, and this time you're out for the whole night? You're right. I'm sorry. I suppose we'll never get full trying to eat these. It's delicious. Hold on a sec. I can make something simple. You can cook, Yuri? I'm not exactly a royal chef. I just have a few recipes I learned growing up. Aren't you worried at all that Flynn is in danger? Huh? Does it look that way? Well, yes. Honestly, I'm not worried about him. He's always managed to take care of himself. Actually, it's the guys who are after him I feel sorry for. What do you mean? Ever since we were kids, I've never been able to beat Flynn at anything. Swords, racing, whatever. After he'd won, he'd always have the nerve to say, You all right, Yuri? That must be nice. I've never had anyone like that in my life. You can count yourself lucky. Well, dinner's ready.
thank you for the meal. That uh, wasn't anything special. I thought it was very tasty. I can't imagine being able to cook anything myself. It's just like using a sword or magic. You've got to learn it by doing it. You just need to practice with a few recipes. You'll be cooking before you know it. Practice with recipes? Here, I'll show you how it's done. Watch. Cooking clears your mind, and it's great for regaining lost energy. Cooking has a lot of other effects as well. This is pretty much everything I know how to cook right now. So, in order to make a sandwich, you'll need bread and an egg, which we just happen to have right here. After choosing the ingredients, it's time to cook. And there you are, a delicious meal. You're so good at that. I'm not sure I'd be able to get that good at cooking. Well, it comes more naturally to some people than others. Just because you have a recipe doesn't mean it'll always turn out like you think. Really? So you can mess it up? Well, you usually taste your food while cooking, but some people don't. Tasting? You know, like when cooks taste the food they make? Well, you're a sheltered little princess who's lived her life in a castle. It's only normal. Sheltered little princess? I suppose so. What is it, Repeat? Well, shall we be going? Will this forest really get us to the other side of the hold? If it doesn't, we'll just come back. But what if I get turned into a frog or a snake by the forest's curse? If that happens, I'll take care of you. You'll... take care of me? Of course I would. Don't worry. I had pet frogs and snakes when I was a kid. If you got turned into a frog or a snake, Yuri, I wouldn't have any idea what to feed you. easy. I feel power running all through my body. Kid for real? It's all right now. Huh? The monster turned into a girl? Oh, brother. This should be interesting. I'm Carol Capel. I'm a member of the Hunting Blades Guild. We travel the globe in search of the toughest monsters. I'm Yuri. This is Estelle. And you've met Repeat already. Anyway, nice to meet you. What? Yuri, wait! My apologies. Huh? Hey, wait up! Where are you guys going? You guys are here to enter the woods, right? Well then, I'll... Actually, we've just finished coming through the woods and we're on our way to Halur. No way! 
you guys made it through the cursed woods? Did you guys run into any egg bears? Do you know what he's talking about, Yuri? Nope. I don't think we've seen any. Man, I wonder if I should head back to town then. They definitely won't like it if I keep them waiting. All right. I'm not sure you two would make it on your own, but never fear! The star member of the Hunting Blades will be your escort! See that? I've even got my own Blastia! What? You guys both have one too? Uh, oh yeah? Whoa, how do you like this? It has information about monsters. Hmm? After a certain point, all the pages are blank. That's because I'm going to fill it up with piles of monsters after this. Hey, wait! Who said you could just ride in there? It might hurt your star member status if it got out that you broke your sword. Oh, that? I had to give myself some kind of handicap or else it wouldn't have been a fair fight. Hey, that's actually not too bad! Yo! Do you guys even know where you're going? Halor's to the north once you get out of the woods! Come on, guys! Wait for me! Having friends to talk to really makes traveling a lot more fun! When I'm by myself, I get a little scared. Uh, I mean, bored. Yeah, uh-huh. Hey, Carol, there's a monster behind you. What? Oh, my mistake. I must be seeing things. D don't do that! Our trip just got more lively. <laughs> Halur, the City of Blossoms. Yeah, that's right! Don't they have a barrier here? Yes, there should be. You guys haven't been to Halur before, right? So then you haven't heard about the tree barrier? Tree barrier? Some Blastia fuse to plant life, gain organic qualities, and evolve. The Tree Barrier of Halor is one prime example of this. I read that in a book. Well, thank you, Professor. So what's happened to this famous barrier? Doesn't look like it's doing much right now. Every year, just before the blossoms are in full bloom, the barrier weakens for a while. It's just that time of year right now. 
and the monsters took the opportunity to attack. Is that when the barrier went down? Yeah, the monsters were taken care of, but the tree is slowly starting to decay. Hey! W what is it? Sorry, I gotta run! Bye! Does that kid ever sit still? So I guess you'll be looking for Flynn now, huh, Estelle? Doesn't she know we need to keep a low profile? And what happened to looking for Flynn? Might I help heal your wounds? Oh my, you can use healing arts? Why, that would be excellent. But I'm afraid we don't have very much money. No, no. I don't need any money. Amazing! The pain is all gone! Thank you! Thank you so very much! Uh, uh, please don't mention it. My heavens! What amazing healing arts you have! How can we ever thank you? No, really. Think nothing of it. What a humble young lady. I wish the Imperial Knights could follow your example. Not a chance. The Knights refuse to lift a finger to protect us from the monsters. Well, I guess the Empire couldn't care less what happens to us here. No, th that's not true. Ah, but that one Knight sure was different, wasn't he? Yes, that young man. If not for him, we would have all been lost. The barrier weakened earlier than usual this year, and we were attacked before the Guild could come to protect us. There was a knight who happened to be passing through our town on a pilgrimage. He and his brigade drove off all the monsters. A knight on a pilgrimage? Was this knight named Flynn by any chance? Yes, his name was Flynn Shifo. Is he still in the city? No, he left the village afterwards in search of a mage who could fix the barrier. Do you know where he went? It looked like he was headed east, but beyond that I couldn't tell you. I see. So we can wait here, and Flynn will come to us. Looks like we've caught up with him. Don't you feel better now? Yes. I won't be able to relax until I see him. I guess I feel better. I think I'll go have a look at this famous tree. Wanna come with? Ah, yes. Yuri, you don't mind? You're okay not going after the Blastia core thief? I can spare enough time to look at a tree at least. I had the wrong person. And none of the others from the guild are here either. I kept her waiting so long. She must have gotten mad and left. I wanted to show her Halura's flowers in full bloom. Then maybe... Carol, what's the matter? Where'd she go? Is she really gone? I'm doing the best I can. Carol? Let's give him some time alone. It's over. It's over. It's all over. It's really over. Everything. Everything is over. Yeah! We got weapons now! We're gonna beat those monsters! The Marrow's gonna let us fight now! Let's beat up those monsters just like Flan! Yeah! Even those kids are trying to fight. I hope the barrier is restored soon. Me too. Even though Dadenhold was struggling without a barrier, They'd have had issues even with one. Yes, barriers really do have a big impact on people's day-to-day -day lives. Well, they keep people safe from monsters just by being there. It's no surprise it changes things. I want to help heal Halur's tree as soon as possible so that everyone can feel safe again. It's huge up close. The tree's flowers should blossom any day now. Yeah, I wish I could see it in bloom. I know how you feel. 
There's something about the image of a tall tree vibrant with blossoms and protecting the city that's so... romantic. You know, I'm gonna stay here and help heal the injured. Hmm, if you're gonna heal something, maybe you could heal the barrier itself. What do you mean? When monsters come again, more people are gonna get hurt. Those kids we just saw could be among them. That's true, but I have no idea how I could heal the barrier. What you need to heal is this tree. It wouldn't be in this condition just because some monsters attacked it. You think there's some other reason? I think there's gotta be. What are the two of you doing over here? We're trying to figure out why the tree has withered like this. I don't know if you'll make much progress on that one. The Knight Flynn couldn't figure out the reason either. Oh, Carol! Carol, we need your help! What are you talking about? It seems these two are trying to figure out the reason the trees withered so. Oh, is that all? What do you mean, is that all? I know the reason. It's why I was in the forest looking for the egg bear. Huh? What are you talking about? Look closely at the ground. Notice the strange color? That color is where the ground absorbed the blood of monsters who attacked the town. That blood has been poisoning Halur's tree. What? The monster blood? I had no idea. Carol, you really know your stuff, don't you? It was nothing. Is there anything we can do to get rid of the poison? I know a way, but... Well, no one believes me. Come on, try us. I think we'd be able to do it if we had a panacea bottle. Maybe we can get one in the general store. Let's go, Yuri. I can't wait until the tree's blossoms are in full bloom. They'll be fantastic. I bet there's a flood of petals big enough to just sweep you away. All those petals dancing in the breeze. It'd be like a dream. I wonder how they deal with all their houses getting buried in flowers every year. That's gotta be a pain to clean up. You really take the fun out of things, Yuri. Welcome to the store. What can I get for you today? Do you have any panacea bottles? Unfortunately, we're sold out at the moment. But how can that be? Well, you know, if I had the right ingredients, I'd be able to fix them up for you. What would you need to make it? I'd need three ingredients. Egg bear claw, nea fruit, and Leluria petal. But why do you need a panacea bottle so badly? A kid came by the other day asking about the same exact thing. You want to heal Halur's tree. What's that? I've never heard of using a panacea bottle on a tree before. Hmm, yeah. What sort of thing is the Nia fruit you mentioned? That would be the bitter fruit you said was so delicious back in the woods. So, what's an egg bear then? Sorry, I can't help you there. Monsters are beyond my expertise. If a member of the Hunting Blades were here, they might be able to tell you. They make their living hunting monsters. So that's why he was in the forest. What can you tell us about the Leluria petal? You know the tree in the middle of town, right? It's a petal from that tree. Normally, we use magic resin, but there isn't any around these parts at all. But the tree is all withered. I believe the mayor has some Leluria petals. You might try asking him. Gotcha. We'll come back when we've gotten the ingredients together.
Come on, Carol. We're going back to the Koi Woods. What do you mean? Remember? Prepare to die, Egg Bear! You mean you believe what I said about the Panacea Bottle? Are you lying? Well then, we'll have to go with what you've told us. Yuri! Alright, I'll help you out just this once. I'm a very busy person, you know. It's settled then. The three of us will restore the barrier together. You're coming too, Estelle? Well, of course I am. What about waiting for Flynn? Wasn't it you who said if you're going to heal something, it should be the tree? We'll just have to fix the tree before he gets back. <laughs> Can't wait to see the look on his face. Estelle, what are you looking at? It's a map of the area around here. Oh, let me see! Hey, this is almost completely blank! You can't call this a map! Really? You should try a surveyor's guild like the World Cellar! Their maps are really amazing! All the top guild members have one! So then naturally you've got a copy, right, Carol? Let's see it. Uh, well, you see... Once you get as good as I am, you don't need to use a map anymore! Oh, that's too bad. I really wanted to see it. Sir, you wouldn't happen to have any Laloria petals, would you? Who'd you hear that from? I mean, I do, but... Ah, so that's why you need a petal. The Laluria is one of the three flowers that blooms on Halur's tree. The petals are dried for half a year in the shade, and they're very valuable. This is my last petal, but if it'll restore the tree to its old self, then I don't mind giving it to you. Thank you. Next up on the list is the Nia fruit and an egg bear claw, was it? Yep. Let's go to the Koi Woods. What's the matter, Repeat? Why are you mad? H hold on! Y you don't want to eat me, do you? H help me, Yuri! Something the matter, Carol? It's... it's nothing! <laughs> Talk about mood swings. Bye. <laughs>